In this week's Speaker's Corner series, a normally quiet Toronto neighborhood disrupted. It's also a school zone, and a nearby construction project has homeowners here concerned. They say it's putting lives in danger. They reached out to us for answers. Welcome to the Broadview North neighborhood. This is a beautiful neighborhood, great people. Uh, it's a real family oriented neighborhood. Normally pretty peaceful, says Suzanne, who lives on Westwood Avenue. We have green space and places to go outside and walk. But lately, things have been a bit hectic here, all because of what's happening one street over. Recently, we woke up to find out that Mortimer Avenue was torn up. Mortimer, between Broadview and Pape, is being ripped up to replace a water main. Suzanne says too many drivers are ignoring detour signs and using other secondary streets like hers to bypass the project, creating what she calls a dangerous situation. Since the project started, we've had a heavy influx of large machinery. As you can see, we also have high-speed cars. It's a 30 zone here. Again, this is very standard. Most concerning for Suzanne and others who live here, Westwood Middle School is on her street. She's witnessed too many close calls lately. All of the traffic's been coming through a school zone. So it's incredibly dangerous. And we had kids 10 deep because they couldn't safely cross the road. Suzanne has reached out to the city multiple times. Workers did recently increase signage in the area to help redirect traffic, but neighbors say it's not enough. They want increased police patrols. I think that this needs to be risk managed, and that's not happening thus far. We reached out to the city. A spokesperson tells us staff are working with Toronto Police to increase enforcement efforts, specifically related to speeding on streets adjacent to this project. Suzanne is hopeful something happens soon, worried this project is putting residents and students in harm's way. We have work to do here to make it safe, and I hope the city steps up and actually does it. The project is expected to be completed by the end of the year. Do you have something on your mind, a story or question you want City News to look into? We'd love to hear from you. Hit us up on the Speaker's Corner section on the City News website. In Toronto, Pat Taney, City News.